Hi there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim. I already used the sage. I already used a little bit of Palo Santo. So I am here to do a reading for you all. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. We're just going to see what are the energies that are coming for you. What wants to come out and give you a message. Intuitively, I can get messages. I get messages channeled. Of course, we all do all the time. Um, but this is solely focused on Leos and um, for their highest good during this wonderful Leo season. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Spirit Guides, Angels, give us some energies to start off with for Leos. I have a feeling that one wants to come out, but oh goodness, really? That one really wants to come out. I don't know which one that is. High Priestess really, really wants to come out. These are your cards, so be it. I did um, shuffle a little bit in the beginning uh, before, pre-shuffle, so I know they're shuffled cards. That was pretty quick. It's like, here you go, all at one time. Maybe that's also a message. Here you go, all at one time. It's all yours. <laughs> I like that message. So, High Priestess, Four of Fire, King of Earth, Ten of Fire, and this is good tarot, by the way. Seven of Water. Messenger of Earth. Page of Earth. Page of Air. And I'm going to leave them how I'm going to read it. I know this book, the book guidebook will tell you to read them upright, but uh, it never works out for me that way. <laughs> when I try to do it that way, it never works out. So... Whew. See what we've got? I mean, we've got some really strong energies. Wow. Wow. Whoa, you're so burned out on some gossip. Or you're so burned out on people saying stuff. Or everything. <laughs> you might be so burned out about everything. There's kind of, some kind of unhealthy spying going on, too. That's what Page of Air in the Reverse Kind of represents to me you're just somebody's just one leo or many leos are done with something or feel burned out or exhausted um maybe when it comes to in regards to bills um that's not really a surprise but i feel like this has to do with like <laughs> like burn it to the ground because the communication sucks okay sucks Maybe that's the problem. Communication. Something to do with communication. Or how something is being communicated. So, I have King of Earth, Four of Fire, and the High Priestess. And the High Priestess, remember that card is the card that it wanted to come out in the beginning. And I kind of kept waiting for signs that, that's, that that card was exactly what we had to pull out. And so at the very end, we used it as a metaphor uh, for the high priestess abilities in you, knowing that they're there and then kind of like using them. Maybe it's taking a little bit of time. It's kind of in your head about some kind of choices that you have to make. Tell me more about a page of air. Thief. Whoa. Journey. Unexpected income in the reverse. Great fortune. Crossing. And main female. And main female. All right, we have all that yet? Okay, so this is Osho Zentero mixed with the Kipper deck. Um, and I, I really wanna get a tarot card out for whatever this journey is. I mean, something leads to great fortune. I think somebody's just talking a whole lot of um, stuff. <laughs> Somebody's just talking a whole lot, and maybe that's frustrating. Tell me a little bit more about this journey, please, for Leos. Tell me a little bit more about the journey for Leos. 
<clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. This is representing an, a new cycle, a new time, fortunate events. Um, time to put something. Um, to, to feel, feeling like these are, are some kind of um, like complaints or something. And... <laughs> And the person's burning at all of them all at one time. <laughs> like, like that's how I feel. Like, I feel like if you work somewhere and you have a box that says, here, put your comments in here on uh, exactly how things could be made better, that you're just going into these <laughs> suggestions and you're um, watching it burn. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. So there's definitely a uh, will, fortune, eternal luck, something going better. And there is great fortune. I feel like there's expected income and that that's the only reason why that's in the reverse. Hmm. Maybe people are expecting more out of you than what's coming out at the moment. Um, if the lovers in reverse. Oh, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Past poor decision. It's coming across as a passport decision um, where there's some truth or clarity or more information needed, please. Tell me more about Page of Air in the reverse. Somebody expects, well, one, for you to pay them back or to pay, pay up, pay up. <laughs> um, Eight of Cups. Finding your ninth cup, needing to get away, really burned out on uh, on everything. <sighs> this feels like it's not reciprocal, maybe because somebody left. Or somebody's going to leave or wants to leave because things just don't feel equal here. And that might be your solution with the nine of swords in the reverse. That might be the solution because this is like, oh, your worries are gone now. Your um, whatever you thought you didn't have a solution to, you do. And here is part of your solution. I don't know if you're a CEO of your, or, or I mean, you don't have to use those like letters. You, you could just be like, if you own your own business, then right in smack dab in the middle of this reading is a king of earth and the page of earth. So I feel like you're working really hard and there's some kind of mastery level that you're going to get on your pentacles. Um, something is taking a while with pentacles, with finances. It, it has stopped things from moving forward. It has stopped you from moving towards your goals as quickly as you would have wanted to. But in the meantime, with the four of fire, you've been doing a lot of practice and uh, with practice makes perfect, especially when it comes to choosing which of these ab abilities are you going to focus on or use for your work for completion 1111. Okay, so I'm just going to channel information for, for you Leos. Um, Page of Earth is some kind of new uh, opportunity. In well, an investment. It is a new type of investment. Yeah, because somebody feels left out. Somebody feels um, like they could use more cash flow. Like that, the finances is a worry. Somebody could feel really. Um, like an outsider when it comes to being able to participate in certain things. This can be the hardship or the struggle that you're going through, this Five of Pentacles. And you could feel really alone because there's some kind of investment that you want to invest in and you know it takes up a lot of who you are. It takes a lot of mastery. But at the end of the day, you're doing this for, it seems like, your family. Um, and you're committed, so it can be kind of lonely when you're, I mean, you're going towards great fortune. It can be kind of lonely getting there, quite possibly. <clears throat> Give me something more on 
on this energy, the journey, and the journey. Tell me about the King of Earth, Page of Earth. Ten of, whoop, ten of wands, another ten of fire, ten of fire, ten of fire. It's, it's putting a whole lot on, on a person's back. Um, uh, something's just really not so good for your stress and your nerves at the time. Uh, or at this time. It may be time to check out what's going on with your options as courtship landed on the seven of water, which is plenty of choices. Courtship. And this is like 1010, divine timing is unwinding. You can't handle everything all yourself all the time. It's two cards that maybe signify a move. <clears throat> Tell me about, um, what, what about these 10 of, of wands? What is stressing Leo out so much? Well, you would know. To high Priestess. Um, finances. Worry over finances. Worry over being able to pay for... I would even say maybe some health things. Maybe dental or health things. Because this could be a worry about a health concern is what I'm thinking. And then seven. Message. So intuitively you get messages, which we know that, but intuitively you get messages that something is, has um, run its course, that is, it is done with a cycle. Maybe there's as much learning as you can do in a certain situation. Um, what about this um, thief energy with the journey? Somebody is concerned, message of concern in the reverse. Concern, you're not concerned. Okay, you're not that concerned. Um, or somebody is not that concerned. Why? And then you got message of concern, message. Tell me about this. Tell me about the message. Privileged lady. Expectation. This is somebody who has access to a lot of things and who has privilege to a lot of things because of possibly some kind of a wealth. Why do I feel like the message isn't getting to you? Why am I feeling like the message isn't getting to you? Ten of Pentacles. Because the completion that you're looking for is something that's a big completion and it's going to take time. This actually is generational, like generational wealth, you know. Judgment. You're um, awake. Uh, awake you're awake yay you're you're awake you're um look at all these tens you're enlightened to something you're embodying forgiveness and grace this is indicating that there was a time when the seven of cups was very influenced by some kind of thinking that wasn't like we didn't think the we thought we were in a confusion or it felt like we were in a haze or confusion. Seven of cups, seven of cups. It could be about sobriety for some. It really can be. Um, five of pentacle in the reverse. Yeah, there is a solution and there's a new opportunity for some kind of really big investment to pay off. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. 
if you're the privileged lady, then it's you're the one giving the privileges. Like you're the one pulling yourself out of that energy, um, and you're relying on you more. And it's yeah, and then it's that. The four of fire indicates that there's there's so many twos in this reading. Have you noticed this? There's seven of cups, seven of cups, high priestess, high priestess, the ten of fire, ten of fire. Five of Pentacle, Five of Pentacle, but this one is in the reverse. Somebody either wants to help out or to, I don't know, just be a part of some kind of success for yourself. Um, tell me about the Four of Fire, which is sometimes, a, a, like I said, a ceremony or celebration. Five of Swords in the reverse. It could be a get-together that we're not wanting to go to. Or there is some kind of get together and there's like a feeling of I don't want to be lured into something like so I probably don't shouldn't go <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't want to be lured into something but so I probably shouldn't go if you're part of this family this ten of Pentacle energy somebody has lost strength lost strength lost confidence or yeah has lost confidence um, because of you not fighting there's unequal partnerships with justice in the reverse there's um something that is unclear and i feel like you meet somebody that helps guide you in the right direction with the hermit in a reverse that can help guide you to meeting your next milestone your next goal like big goal don't be overconfident but you are going to have a victory, a victory. So what is taking forever with the messenger of earth? What is taking forever? And then we're going to pull some Oracle cards for you all. I think some kind of partnership here or um, <sighs> imbalance might be with regarding money or something like that great change is expected here with the 16 thoughts and expectation make sure your thoughts are more focused on the um, positive here I think that's also saying that something to do with a house a mature man something taking a while and I'm sure that's probably different things also for different people. So, you know what? Let's, um, let's see if there's anything else that Spirit wants to say. And then we're going to, I'm going to clean this up. And then we're going to get some Oracle cards out for the rest of the reading. For Leo's. A decision. A really tough decision that you have to make. Um. Make sure you're putting your head into your work and staying busy throughout the day. I guess, don't be lazy. <laughs> work on your craft, work on your skills. Put some, put some pain in the past with the Three of Swords. And remember not to forget your passion. It's all about your passion with the Knight of Wands. What are you moving towards? Uh, and keep doing what you're passionate about. Yeah, that brings you the victory, the Four of Wands. Page of Wands here with the Three of Wands is you're expanding. This is like a, a fulfillment of everything that you can see coming to you. And this is the good news that it is coming. That's excellent. And the Knight of Swords on the bottom, that's big, big change that's coming in. So let me clean this up and um, I will see you at the Oracle side. Okay, Leos, here is your Oracle part. Sorry. Sorry about that. This is the um, Spirit Animal Oracle I am using. Spirit Animal Oracle message for Leo's. If you feel like this is a reading you resonate with, then please hit that like button and subscribe so you can be notified of future readings. Okay, what do we have? 
Armadillo Spirit Set Healthy Boundaries, number three. Have Wasp Spirit. There's another sign that got that last uh, 48 hour. Oh, that stinking little fly is still here. I can't get rid of him. I tried. Um, 64 Wasp Spirit. Sometimes life stings. And Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Spirit has your back. Okay. from the um ask the angels see what the angels have to say messages for leo what you got messages for leo oh i do offer private readings also if you're wanting one look at that success see saying to get a private reading in the description box below, you can find out how. I do not contact people for private readings, though. You contact me for them if you want one. Um, I have success. I have big, happy changes. And there's no need to... Oh, that's argue anymore. You remember that, that song? No need to worry. No need to worry, though, is what this one says. And there's some kind of fire that's in her altar. I don't know what she's doing. Um, but yeah, so there's big happy changes. These people both have their arms up and in the air. This is a wonderful sign that you're ready to receive. I mean, like the cone that's funneling in power. It's it, That's exactly what that is reminding me of. And there's no need to worry here. There's no need to worry is what it's saying bigger than anything there's no need to worry you know what since you don't want us to worry let's pick the intuitive life coaching oracle which gives some answers sometimes angel number message give me an angel number please Spirit has your back, 23, 24, wow, four sixes. You have a heart of gold and you are skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, provider, uh, or protector and provider all at once. It says, I am generous, 24, I am generous. Okay, I also have 18, I am kind-hearted. You are both open-minded and it open-hearted. It is your ambition to leave this world better than how you found it. Ensure your goals are aligned with the collective highest good of all. And it says, I am kind-hearted. With 17, I am independent in the reverse on the bottom. So maybe that's something to work on. Work on, okay, so intuitive. Life Coaching Oracle. What you got? What you got? For Leo. Hidden Treasure. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Especially right underneath that success, right? Hidden Treasure. Number nine. You have brilliant untapped potential just waiting to be explored. Wow. Seven, universal flow. It is time for you to slow down, breathe, take time to smell the roses. Wishful thinking, but this is the good way. This is in the good form. You are learning how to manifest the life that you desire. Unwavering faith, 48. You're being asked to have faith in the unseen. And then natural born leader 11 natural born leader you are born to lead others it is part of your life path okay anything else 
two piece. Tough love and self-love right here. Love, love, though, from the source. 49, tough love. It's time that you uh, tell the truth about something you've been avoiding. 30, uh, three is with self-love. You are learning the capacity to love others is directly related to your capacity to love yourself. 34, source. Your connection to source is the light and the love. It shines through you and leads the way. You're a shooting star further. Uh, 30, shooting star. You are a shooting star and you are about to step into your highest potential. Let's get one more. Oh yeah, watch those thoughts. Automatic negative thoughts. You are learning to take charge of the thoughts that you give life to. Okay, and that has something to do with unwavering faith nourishment so pay attention to what it is you're putting in your body at this time also is a message with nourishment um and that's pretty much what i have for you all today let's just get your um oracle little oracle ones fortune cookies and your fairy dust Okay, I have luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. And health, another message about be careful with your health. Watch your health. Keep an eye on the things you eat. Um, and then here's these challenges. I feel like a lot of it is your negative thinking if you do resonate with wanting to change that. Challenges, take time out from problems or conflicts and approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Oh, and look, look, it, yeah, I love it when these two come out. So you have the rat, someone working against you behind your back with the rat. But then I have look cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. That's right. And staff you'll be taken care of in difficult times. I also have broom, new home, new attitude. And then look. Money path, the path of money is waiting for you to find it. Success. So that's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.